Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode for Agent Force for Everyone. In this episode, we are going to learn how to invoke an Apex class from Prompt Template. In the previous episode, we have seen how to create our first Prompt Template. So if you want to understand how to create a Prompt Template, you can follow this link. This is the Prompt Template I have created in the previous episode. So I am going to use the same on this as well. In this prompt template, we are giving a prompt to generate a paragraph summary for opportunities, cases, as well as contact created for this account. And I'm also giving the name of the account, name of the rating and the account type. And below are the details of opportunities, cases and contacts. And these are the related list we have provided in order to send the data to the large language model. And that is going to generate an accurate response and giving back to us so that we are stamping all the data to the summary field. Now, I am not going to pass the related list here. Instead, I need to get the details for cases, contacts and opportunities from my Apex class. So now we are going to see how we can write our Apex class, which will be available for a prompt template to use and how we can get generate the data and send back to this prompt. So for that, let me save this. So if you look at our resource, there is currently no Apex available. So I'm going to my developer console. Let's create a new Apex class and I'm going to name it as account summary controller. So in order to make this Apex class available for prompt template, we need to make sure we create our method, which is invocable method. So I'll just simply say at the rate invocable method and I'll give the name of the method public static. So I'm going to return the list of output response. The output response will be my wrapper class and which I will have a invocable variable, which I'm going to send this to the prompt. Let's say I will say simply response. And I will also receive some data from the prompt. Let's say the account record so that with the help of account record, I will be able to find the data such as all the cases for that account contacts and opportunities. So I am going to receive in a list of let's say input wrapper input request request and I will also create a wrapper class for input request. In this wrapper, I will also create a variable which is going to be a invocable variable. And I am going to mark this variable as required because without getting the data, I won't be able to get fetch cases, contacts and opportunities. So I will simply receive a account record and I will say OBJ account. Now let's save this class till now. So it says missing a return statement. So let's say I will simply define a return results and I will simply return this for now. Cool. So our class is successfully saved. At, so that, that means our framework is ready. Now, this is not complete step in order to get this class available for the prompt. We also need to make one more change so that the class will be available to the prompt. So the change is if you want that your class will be available to your prompt template based on your prompt template type. So you need to also include your capability type. So this prompt template is generally a field generation prompt template. So I need to use the field completion capability in order to make this class available to the prompt. So for that, I am going to add this. I will also add, let's say label and description. And I will also add the capability type. So I'm just copy the key, which is capability type. And then in the quotes, I need to use the field completion. So in with the help of field completion prompt template type, this class will be available now. So let's give some label uh, account summary. 
description get account related data because we are going to fetch cases contacts and opportunities for the particular account and we are receiving the account in a input request wrapper uh that's fine let's try to save now okay so now if you can see i am receiving an error so this is the important part i need to show and discuss so in order to design a class for a prompt template you make sure you need to define a input invocable method with a input invocable variable such as related entity with without related entity you won't be able to write this class so i can't give any name to the account instead i need to give related entity and in the related entity i will receive the account record so if i now save okay that is saved now we got the another error same as in the output you can't just define any random name such as response or result you need to make sure you define your output parameter as a prompt and now my class is saved also this is case sensitive you can't even define your variable with small p so if i try to save with a small p i will still receive the error so i need to make sure i will give a proper name so that's why i intentionally did a mistake in order to make you aware that you need to define your input wrapper and output wrapper based on the predefined variable so this is definitely needed in order to make this class available for the prompt template so we created our wrappers we created our method structure and we added the capability so that this method will be available in the field field generation and now let's write the logic to get the cases opportunities and contacts so we define our list and then now i am going to find let's say first contacts so select id name i will say i will fetch name and email from contacts where account id equals to uh, i am getting into the related entity so for that i need to add a request and i need to fetch the zeroth index and i will better i can just define a new account variable so that i can use that variable in multiple places so now i can use the obj.acc.id so once i have the contact records let me put it into the list contacts the reason i am putting into a list so that i can check the size if the contacts are available or not so let's say if i am getting the contact size greater than 0 then i am going to move this to the if block so if the contacts are available i am going to iterate all over the contacts and then i will i need to design the response in the prompt so let's say i will choose a new variable response string and this is null at the moment so in the response string i will say contact details uh let's and i am going to fetch name and email so i will say name is um i will use the format uh method string dot format and then the contact details name is so name will be replaced with this zeroth and email is will be replaced with one and new list of object and in the bracket i am going to give the name and email let's try to save yes so what i'm doing here is let's say in the particular account i have four contacts so so the first contact comes it will store as a contact details name is etc email is etc so this 0 and 1 uh, is basically the sequence which i'm giving here so this is going to replace with the name and this is going to replace with the email which we are going to see in our prompt resolution once that is done then the second element comes the third element comes and the fourth element comes so i am going to then do a uh, i need to concatenate this i don't want to overwrite the data again and again so for that i am going to do response string equals to response string and i will also make a new line cool so first element comes it goes to the response string then it will make a new line and then the second element comes then it will goes to this 
I think this will get overridden then. So I need to enter this here as well. Let me copy from here. Yep. Once that is done, then I am also going to put a else condition. If there are no contacts available for the particular account, so I am going to simply say uh, response plus there are no contact records and I will also make a new line. That's it. So we have successfully completed the contact section. Now I am going to do the get contacts. Now let's do the same thing with cases. Cases. I'm just going to change the case. Cases. Uh, for that I am going to fetch the case number. What else? Uh, case has number and status. So let's say case number and status. Uh, replace to case account ID is the same field in case and here I'm going to check if the cases size is greater than zero then iterating over the cases obj case and case so now the response string will be response string equals to response string plus this will be case details uh, case number is the zeroth element so let's copy this case number and the second we are fetching is status case number is zero status is one so let's say obj this dot status once that is done then we will make a new line and if there are no cases that means there are no cases records so cases are also done now let's do for the opportunities get opportunities for that opportunity opportunity and in the opportunity let's fetch a couple of things first opportunity name uh, amount stage so for stage this is the field yeah and account id is the same field all over the context let's change this to opportunities uh, checking the size once it is there iterating over the opportunities obj or, or let me simply say opp and this will be opportunity so now this will be opportunity details uh, first is name is zero uh, let's say amount is one and stage stage is let's say two so let's change to opp dot name opp dot amount opp dot stage name so zeroth first and second so this will be replaced with zeroth first and second which is done then it will also make a new line uh, concatenate to the response string and if there are no opportunity records that means there are no opportunities records that's it let me try to save once that is saved then i need to define the list which i have already defined but i also need to define the class wrapper so let's address uh, this and i need to give this to the prompt so this dot prompt equals to my response string and I am going to add this to the main list which I am going to return which is list of output response which is this this dot add rest cool my class is saved let me quickly explain again what we have simply built now so we have a class called account summary controller which has a method called get account related data and this method is now available for our prompt template field generation because we use the capability type as field completion and this has a label and some description and this is receiving the input request which is a wrapper which receives the account record and this is going to return the output response which has a string which always must have a string variable which is named as prompt so this related entity and prompt will never gonna change this this could be the same name then we are assigning the record to the obj sec uh, variable so that we can use further then first we are getting all the contacts for that account then preparing into the response string then we are getting all the cases as well as we are getting all the opportunities so then we are making a string with a new lines so number of contacts the number of cases the number of opportunities so the same thing which we have done in our previous episode just with the related list but this episode the purpose is to show how we can invoke the apex class and get the data and perform some more business logic so that's why i simply choose this use case to show how we can invoke the apex class and get the related data or do any logic once we have the response string ready then assigning it to the prompt and this prompt is going to the prompt template and then returning the result finally so let's see if we if we can use this apex class in our prompt template for that i am going to this prompt i need to make a page refresh cool 
so i will enter so my statement is write a short paragraph summary for the opportunity cases and contacts uh, for the account this rating and type this below are the details for opportunities cases and contacts and now here i need to invoke the apex class so for that i'm going to response resource and now you can see i can see the apex with without any non available none available so i can go to the apex and my account summary controller is available and i can simply say this and save now let's see in the resolution what exactly the prompt it is going to send to the llm for that i am going to select my account which is express logistics and transport which has four contacts three opportunities three cases so let's use this express logistic and transport preview cool so now if you look at the resolution it says the same statement which is there but from the apex it is generating this so it says null okay that's fine because the field is initially null and we need to handle in the apex if it is null don't include in the string but that's fine we can ignore this and then it says starting with the contact details name is this email is this so this is coming from here name is this con uh, email is this and because the response string is by default null that's why it just printed the same so we can put a if condition if it is null don't concatenate if it is not null then concatenate you can do that then we added a new line slash n that's why it goes to the second element uh, name is josh email is this then again new line name is com user again new line name is com user once the contacts are ready then we are fetching the cases so case is this status is this and then once the cases are done opportunity name is this uh, then amount is this and stage is this because in the opportunity we are fetching three fields so that's how you you can get n number of fields to the response once that is done then we are asking to write a short paragraph summary so it it has given us the very accurate response now let's read it the account for express logistic transport classified as cold so cold is the rating which we have given here and categorized under customer channel customer channel is that account type which we have given here has generated several opportunities cases and contacts notably their case three cases have been closed that's fine because all the three cases are closed with case number this this and this there are three primary contacts associated with the account barbara with their email josh with their email and two additional users with their emails in terms of opportunities the contact has successfully closed the express logistics standby generator opportunity valued amount additionally there are ongoing opportunities etc 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 now in the previous episode i have told the more effective prompt we are going to give to the prompt template the more accurate response we are getting it from the llm so that is the purpose to show how you can invoke an apex class with the most effective prompt so you can write any logic in your apex class in order to send the data to your prompt you just need to make sure your prompt will be very effective so the llm will work and design your response accordingly uh, now let me activate this prompt it is now activated and now let's see in our account so currently this is the summary generated with our existing prompt which doesn't have any apex so let me generate again so now it is going to generate with our apex see now it has given us a very nice good paragraph and i'm going to use it and save it to the field so now i can see the same response has been generated so this is how you can generate the response with the help of apex and you can invoke an apex from prompt template if you have any question reach out to me on linkedin uh, i will see you in the next episode where i am going to cover how to invoke the flow from the prompt template we are going to use the same approach we are just removing the we are just going to remove this apex and we are going to build the same thing with the flow so that you you will have the understanding how to invoke the flows from the prompt template thanks for watching that's all for today's episode and i'll see you in the next episode thank you